five, four, three, two, one. This is Dr. Bring you set five of CJ versus KD. Must win game for CJ and CJ bring out Lita to face off against Flash. Surely KT wants Flash closes out. Flash is the Red Terran at the 1 o'clock position, whereas Lita is the Teal Terran at the 11 o'clock position on the map. While Mantra is going to be exciting, exciting game. Just prior to this match, uh, they showed uh, on the screen here the head to head stats between these two players is 4 and 10 in favor of Flash. Uh, it might just be games in the Pro League, although I don't believe so. Regardless, Flash uh, Lifetime does have a better advantage uh, in terms of wins over Lita, at the very least, in the Pro League, although I think with 14 games, that's probably overall, including individual leagues. Lita is going to have a uh, tall order here to defeat Flash, even though Flash is uh, in a diminished capacity here. I don't recall Flash actually playing a very high-level TBT against one of the best players around, for instance. Lita is very good, certainly very capable in Terran versus Terran. Uh, and Flash, I mean, he played against Really, I believe, that's uh, who, who is pretty good. It really did beat him. But otherwise, he does seem still not invincible in uh, his Terran vs. Terran play. If anyone can defeat Flash here, uh, it will be lead up, but it still won't be easy. I give him like 40% chance of beating Flash. That's pretty good against uh, most players. Uh, Lita surely would be favored to win, but against Flash, I am not so sure about that. Uh, I, again, I give Flash a slight advantage here. Flash opting to scout fast here. He's also put down his first barracks, whereas Lita, he is also putting down his first barracks too, but he's opted not to scout. Flash really wants to know what's going on. Wise of him, of course. He is capable with all builds, and his he is most vulnerable getting caught unawares. I feel by some sort of early attack, both players probably going for the racks in the command center, judging by the lack of gas uh, refinery rather. Flash scouting around the middle, he is paranoid about some sort of potential uh, rush, I have to say, some sort of proxy BBS type attack. I think that makes a certain amount of sense. Uh, his opponents uh, surely want to do something unexpected and good of Flash to protect himself. And now he is going to have scouted in the correct direction. Uh, with his SEV and spot lead as base. This really is, I mean, this really does re appear to be some sort of map hack by Flash. How does he scout around in the middle of a circle like that and then find Lita on the first attempt? It really does defy belief how he does this. Again, it is luck breaking his way, but I, I, I can already hear the Flash anti-fanboys crying out that he has somehow hacked the game, that he is, uh, maybe with his mind here, he's got some sort of interface hooked up to the computer here. Imagine he uses some sort of a USB port uh, coming out of one of his hands or something before the game, he, you know, starts to hand into the computer. Well, I guess he would have to maintain the connection. So maybe it just uploaded some sort of program onto the computer. Uh, and then, then again, do these computers even have like open USB drives, ones they have in the uh, pr uh, official StarCraft tournaments? That's actually a fairly good question. I don't know. I imagine the answer is no. They probably would block those off uh, just, you know, in case. Uh, but who knows? Flash transferring his SEVs with perfect timing. This is just astonishing to watch. Lita's transfer, let's see how good it is. It is slightly less perfect. This is the difference between Flash and Lita. That scene is, is a, that, you know, when people want to ask, what is the difference between a Flash and a Lita? What is the difference between the best Terran and um, uh, a class Terran, who Lita is most certainly a class player? He is very good. He is an ace player too, but Flash is on a separate level. Just his timing is down to the millisecond, it seems. Unbelievable stuff, I have to say. And that, that was the difference right there. The contrasting screens, commentators, Korean commentators surely wants to point that out. We see two factories coming out with more Lita with a machine shop, probably going for a bit more of ultra heavy builds. Flash getting three factories, but Flash even wants to, I mean, Flash wants to get even more vultures, potentially armory going down for Lita, so he actually wants to get some Goliaths too early on. It's not like the extra second the SCV chamfer makes 
that big of a difference, but geez, Flash, he just, he does this uh, like we breathe oxygen. You know, second nature to him almost. I'm not sure how much he tries at this point to actually do it. It just sort of happens for him. Uh, at least that's the feeling I get. Flash, with his scout, not able to get past that bunker, sees the expansion, but that's not news to him. Second machine shot going out for Leela, so he's opting for tank Goliath strategy against a vulture heavy strategy coming from Flash. This is going to be interesting. Uh, let's see how good Flash's vulture play is in this particular game. Uh, normally, Flash is very devastating with vultures. Mostly in a raiding capacity, he is one of the best at using vultures as raiders, attacking where uh, his opponent does not expect going and killing workers. Uh, in terms of using them to support his main army, Flash is certainly you know, no slouch in that department. But I don't get the feeling that he's someone like a Nada. For instance, Nada in his prime with just vultures and mines alone can wreck entire armies on the field. Uh, Flash, I get less of that sort of impression from him. Flash with the barracks, uh, trying to flank the main, not really going to be able to accomplish too much. Two mines here laid out in the front. A few more of these lines, a uh, mine rather, is going to stop Lita from pushing out for a little bit. Uh, getting Flash some more time to get the units he wants to get out. Three tanks for Lita, going to do what they can against these vultures, but again, Lita needs to be very careful about pushing out. He's probably going to sacrifice these ma marines, rather, use them to clear mines. If Lita is not careful, he could potentially drag a mine into all those marines and tanks, which would be absolutely devastating. Flash, maybe he wants to try to bait these units. Ah, oh, scan coming out from Lita, so that's going to uh, drive Flash back. Flash putting down what mines he can. Uh, ooh, the Marines dragging mines into the Vultures. Nice little maneuver. Second Marine uh, going forward and clearing that mine. Not the best way uh, for the Marines life, but otherwise, you know, certainly works for Lita. Does not work out so well for that Marine. Order to suicidally charge into a minefield and obeying that order. Sometimes it's good that units in StarCraft are not sentient and cannot object to said orders. Uh, otherwise, it would be very disturbing indeed. Uh, now we see this Marine getting picked off by a Vulture here. Lita moving out with a nice force of tanks and Goliaths. He's escorting his tanks. Uh, and I'm not quite sure what he might be able to do here. Flash uh, with some tanks and mines on that high ground, setting up some more units here uh, on this uh, high ground more to the south, if you would. So he is going to be fine. Uh, well, actually, no, Flash playing back that secondary force of tanks and uh, vultures. Both players content to set up siege for now. Flash getting another command center, uh, not really building it directly at the uh, mi uh, location, at the 3 o'clock location. He's building it sort of uh, outside the base, but not really like protecting inside his main. Quite odd. Lita building his own third command center at his natural disc. Looks like it will be one of these longer positional battle games, which Flash is just uh, a true master at. Almost no player in the world can outposition him. In one of these battles, Lita though surely wants to try to outflash Flash here. If he can do that, he'll uh, give him uh, certainly a big confidence boost. And well, among other things, CJ has to win this, otherwise they are out. And KT will advance to the finals. As it stands, CJ has to win uh, three games in a row just to force a day three of the playoffs. Very tall order. I had not imagined that it would come to this for CJ. Very strong team. Uh, against KT. I mean, KT has Flash, and then you got stats, maybe, and then maybe action, a very def doubtful maybe. That's pretty much it. I mean, Hoja actually has been playing fairly well recently, but nevertheless, uh, KT just does not have the same type of roster uh, as uh, CJ. I mean, CJ, I can easily think of you know, many capable players, Hydra and Lita aside, a movie, for instance is uh, also very good and supposedly they have effort in the training house who is outplaying everybody i don't know how much uh, truth there is to that rumor effort comes i believe back in september i could be wrong about that we shall see then how good uh, effort is he is truly savior reincarnated 
then this will be an exciting time. I can't believe they can so the MSL uh, when someone like a Savior Reborn has come back to the scene. Ugh, absolutely disgusting, I have to say, to just contemplate that. Hopefully, uh, it won't come to that. I don't know how final that whole thing is. Ho uh, I mean, can't cast an MSL. That really would be a... Uh, a death knell, if you would. You know, that is the funeral bell's ring. And I do not want to think about that future. Unhappy thoughts. No good for any of us. Now we see both players messing up some forces, splitting the map more or less evenly. So Flash not quite able to gain an advantage of Lita at this point. Uh, uh, in TBTs uh, thus far, um, nothing too exciting is going to happen for some time. Neither player is going to have enough forces to affect any sort of decisive breakthrough. Flash is very vulture heavy. He is not uh, using the vultures to raid just yet. I'm not quite sure why. Flash loves to do that. Go to an opportunity to attack that base at the 9 o'clock now, I feel, with some vultures. This is actually somewhat uncharacteristic of Flash to be so passive. Um, uh, in these high level games, even TVTs is. Uh, certainly between Flash and other Terrans, is rare to see solo action uh, on the map. There was a bit of an exchange with Mines earlier, but that's it. Flash now upgrading Cloak, getting Raves. Now he's uh, moving his Vultures around a bit more. Flash perhaps wants to try to gain position over this 12 o'clock base. Lita sees this attack coming, though. And surely he will try to respond. Flash with two tanks there at the 6 o'clock too. So this looks like Flash's plan for the long run. He wants to take 12 and the 6 o'clock, which would leave Lita with two fewer bases. Exactly what Flash needs to try to close out this game. Lita, though, uh, is not uh, sky high. Well, sky high is pretty good. But Lita surely does not want this to... Uh, that, as an example, sky high is good. Movie is pretty good. Sky high movie. Lita... Hydra, I mean, these are all very capable pro league players. Flash now putting out, uh, pushing out with a attack here at 12 o'clock. I'm not quite sure why he's trying to attack here. He'd be better off just defending. Both players uh, taking a lot of damage. Lita might be able... Ooh, nice mind drag with the Goliaths. Looks like both players essentially traded their armies at the 12 o'clock. Flash with two tanks and some reinforcements should be able to hold it if he wants to. Uh, both players putting down yet another expansion now. Flash also with Raves out, uh, he's going to send Raves, uh, uh, not going to be too effective against all these Goliaths. Now Flash with three more tank reinforcements here, Alita uh, trying to push ahead, Flash with two Vultures, going to start laying some mines, that mine needs to die, there are two mines, ooh, both mines getting picked off there, but the Vulture did his job distracting Lita's units, and now Lita unable to push at 12 o'clock, he's also not trying to make any sort of push at the 6 o'clock. Obviously, Lita cannot, in the long run, allow Flash to control both of these bases. Uh, Lita putting down two expansions there at the 7 o'clock base, getting the natural and the main. He wants to try to uh, get what resources he can from the bases he controls, and then try to make a massive push. I would imagine and seize control of 12 and the 6 o'clock. Uh, so this is more or less trench warfare here, fighting over very, very little ground. Limited resources here. Uh, in which Terran uh, uh, TVTs can devolve into this sort of trench warfare static positioning uh, type uh, games. And I, I think that is usually a mistake for uh, Terran to try to push against a well entrenched uh, opponent with just uh, ground forces with no raves or better yet dropships. Flash with quite a few cloak raves, he is scrambling them uh, there. Nothing to intercept, so he is going to make. He is going to pick away at the dropships. Brilliant maneuver by Flash. Darting in, sniping both dropships. He might lose a rave or two, but not going to bother Flash at all. He actually, I'm not sure he actually lost a rave. Ooh, nice scan by Lita. And now that's going to pick off a rave. But Flash did what he has to do. Uh, he picked off those two raves. Severe, I mean, those two dropships severely limiting the mobility of Lita. Lita will have no choice but to either try for some sort of frontal assault, which almost never works in TVP, or to wait uh, even longer and mass up his own air force. Uh, he knows that Flash does have a good number of raves out now, so Lita surely wants to get 
some Air Force uh, of his own. Flash get, putting down a command center at the 12 o'clock you know, off-center location. I guess he just wants the gas. That is what commentators are pointing out. Gas is more critical in DVDs at this point. And Lita, uh, he has massed up a lot of units. Maybe he wants to try for yet another breakthrough here. He's got two armories upgrading. That's interesting. I uh, wonder whether he's upgrading air attack. Uh, now Lita bringing SCVs. I guess he's clearing outside. Oh no, he is going to launch an attack, probably to the time that is slight, uh, be a tad better here. Now Flash needs to bring more units. He is uh, in great danger of being overpowered here. Uh, great attack by Lita, but not going to be able to get it done. Flash with his Air Force coming in to clean up these tanks after the uh, all the Goliaths went down. Now Lita bringing all sorts of reinforcements. This is going to drive Flash back. Flash does not appear to have uh, the ground forces uh, just yet. Lita has lost a lot of units trying to take this position. He is ultimately going to be able to get it done here. And uh, Flash is going to be forced to lift that command center. He's not going to bother Flash too much. He still has the 6 o'clock base. He's got expansions. It looks like every single expansion on the map has thus far been taken except for the 12 o'clock base. I'm not sure whether Flash actually has a command center at the 6 o'clock, but uh, he can get one there, no problem. And now Lita has, at great cost, managed to dislodge Flash from the 12 o'clock base. Surely Lita wants to start mining from there. Um, Sometimes too. Maybe he wants to completely push Flash out. Flash still has units in position uh, here. Uh, Lita, if he wants to uh, exploit the resources, needs to be able to push Flash across the bridge. And now Lita is going to mass up all his forces, it looks like, for yet another attack. Flash needs to be a bit careful with his rage there. Uh, he's using the tanks to pick away at the Goliaths. There are still three left, unfortunately, for Flash. He's not going to be able to use the Rage to clean up that last line of tanks. Uh, and, you know, it's just so difficult to uh, dislodge a Terran player uh, without any sort of mobile forces. And now Flash is going to build another starport. Uh, and uh, I do not know what Lita is building. I imagine more dropships here. I haven't seen him try to rebuild his fleet. Where are some more? Why isn't Lita mining with those SCVs at the 7 o'clock? That's got to be a mistake. There's no reason why he shouldn't be mining. I mean, if you want to clear up site, you might as well send the SCVs to the front. And it seems a bit early for that anyway. Uh, and now uh, Flash transferring some SCVs of his own to the 6 o'clock. He does have a command center up. Even if Flash is just uh, one... Oh, that's what Leto is doing. He's saving the SCVs uh, to build uh, starports. Okay, that's a good reason. Uh, Flash, though, does have a bit of advantage in terms of his Air Force uh, right now. Both players with plus two attack on the ground finish. Surely Lita was upgrading air armor and attack from those two armories I saw in his natural. Lita putting down something like ten starports. I uh, lost count there. Flash would be wise to get a few more starports. He's also got his own armory working on the air upgrade. So we will see a big aerial engagement. Both players now with dropships here. Flash bringing out his rage. This is why it's so nice to have uh, air superiority early on. Sniping the dropship, uh, picking off those tanks. And now Lita is going to be again limited in his uh, options here at the 12 o'clock base. Uh, Flash has uh, managed to get some more reinforcements there, uh, courtesy of the dropship. Not too much Lita can do until he builds up his own great force. So it's probably a dozen starports, I imagine. Now Lita pouring more forces. He wants to. He really wants this base. Makes sense. Uh, if he can get this base, he will at least be economically even with Flash, and then he can seek some sort of battle where if he can defeat Flash, he will have the advantage. But until uh, that time, I mean, both players will have more than enough resources to mass up army after army of raves. But if this goes, if both players just continually trades armies, Flash is going to win. He has one more base than Lita. He's just going to be able to build more at the end of the day one of these long games. So Lita really, really wants this base. There's no question. Flash trying to bring some units there, uh, but not being too successful thus far. He's also sending out a single cloak drape. Maybe he's hoping to bait a scan. Not that it matters. There are surely a gazillion scans uh, for Lita. Now Lita mobilizing his own wraith force. Maybe he wants to attack Flash before he is ready. Flash probably does not expect so many wraiths to come out at once. Now we see Cloak coming out. A scan by Lita. Flash managing to retreat his wraith force, but he is going to lose a few tanks here. And this is exactly what Lita needs to do. Uh, picking off the tanks here at the eastern corner of that uh, 12 o'clock base. This is going to open options up for Lita to move his own tank force and secure the bridge. 
And now Lita is moving out. Very nice maneuver by Lita. Uh, this is his chance to finally push Flash back across the bridge, and he needs that base. Flash, though, scrambling all his Air Force, it looks like, his entire Air Force, uh, and he wants to make sure that he uh, stops Lita from getting this base. Lita is so close to securing it. He's putting down a star, uh, missile turrets. He's got tanks in position. Looks like Flash will be forced across this bridge. Not too much that he can do. Flash either needs... I think his best option right now is to attack somewhere else. A physics lab Yamato being researched, so we see battlecruiser transition for Lita. Flash would be wise to use his uh, Air Force, the advantage he has right now, to attack somewhere else on the map and force Lita to react to him again, lest he uh, risk losing the initiative in this game. Uh, bad to lose the initiative thus far, he's made Lita attack him. But now Flash needs to get something done here. Flash has decided to attack at the uh, bottom. He's got a lot of units. Lita scrambling his own Air Force to try to deal with this. His ground army is going to take some time to respawn. Uh, Flash should be able to get his tanks in position to defend. Uh, you can see a lot of tanks here, but they are going to isolate the natural at the 7 o'clock. Lita needs to break this blockade here uh, with his units. It's taking him a long time to transfer his mech forces back. Uh, whereas Flash is using this opportunity to siege up outside the natural and potentially finish that base off. Now Lita's brought back his uh, heavy armor here, uh, his artillery, uh, to try to do what they can. But Flash has split off part of his army uh, to the south here. He's going to be able to finish off uh, at least the expansion base. Uh, Flash with so many uh, raves here, going to force Lita back. He has found all these starports. This is the golden opportunity for Flash to cause some more havoc. I would probably pick away at the command center uh, in the main base at the assembly. He can do that. He will almost certainly win this game. Lita, though, does have the supply route advantage, and now he's bringing out his own raves to pick away at some of these tanks. Uh, Lita is surely relying on his shorter supply route to mass up more units. I'm not sure why he did. both players don't build like five Valkyries, which would be incredibly valuable. Now Lita coming uh, to clean out uh, this uh, blockading force here. He's got a lot of Goliaths and uh, vultures, I mean glass and tanks there, glass will work wonders against all these rays. Flash is actually in some danger of getting his air force isolated and potentially destroyed here in the corner. If that were to happen, it would be a disaster for Flash. He is though, uh, he has 2-2 upgrades, both players with 2-2 upgrades it looks like on their air units. And now Lita wants to force a decisive engagement. He has Goliaths to back up his air force, that's exactly what he needs. Flash forced to uh, run away, he's lost a good number of his raves. But inflicted critical economic damage. Lita could not afford the loss of so many SCVs and that base at the natural of the 7 o'clock. Now Flash needs to consolidate his position, build up more raves, and potentially get a few Goliaths to help ward off the Air Force of Lita. If he can do that, he'll almost certainly win this game. Flash has gotten himself into a great position. It's always astonishing to see how Flash uh, moves just when he needs to. I mean, once he realized 12 o'clock was lost, he did dither in the middle of the map five minutes before attacking the bottom. No, he decided, yeah, I need to do something and attack the bottom with a strong army when Lita was out of position. Exactly what you are supposed to do as a you know, Terran player. It's easy for an observer to call out the shots, but as a someone who's actually playing in front of a live audience like this is really difficult. Flash coming in with these raves, sniping a few uh, tanks here, a uh, nice little maneuver. Probably should have engaged that particular little force of raves. He had uh, opportunity to pick off a few more raves there, but uh, Flash is electing to be conservative here. He knows he's done the damage he needs to, so as long as Flash can uh, hold out here. He is still one base ahead of Lita, by the way, at this point. As long as Flash can hold out here, uh, he should be able to win the game. Uh, both players with uh, physics labs, but I have not yet seen any battle cruisers actually come out. Flash does have amazing battle cruiser micro, uh, one of the best at cloning Yamato's. Still, again, a little surprising. Neither player opting to build Valkyries, even uh, two or three. Uh, would be a great supplement. I would probably get something more like six, uh, just for good measure, and they can absolutely wreck the opposing rape force. But that is not what uh, both players has up to go for. Four battle cruisers being finished here for Lita. Not sure whether he's building any more. Don't know whether Flash is building any at the moment. Uh, 
surely those are battle cruisers he's building from his star ports. Raids are great against battle cruisers, so. He, but uh, battle cruiser plus Rafe, a uh, good combination. Battle cruiser is great for their Yamato to snipe tanks with. Vita wants to reestablish the base here at the natural of the seven o'clock, of course. And if he can establish that base and secure mining, he will be in uh, uh, on economic parity with Flash. And Flash will still need to get something done here. Flash probably needs to react within the next minute, lest he risk the initiative once again slipping away from his grasp. The Flash actually managed to kill a tank with the SCVs he sent out to clear up some side. Nice, nice little maneuver by Flash there. Had the presence of mind to attack that tank. Very nice. Uh, and now Flash messing up his own battle cruisers. Lita has finished his battle cruisers a bit earlier, so he will have a bit of an advantage in terms of energy. Shouldn't matter though by the time both players engage. <coughs> so at this point, both players are fairly even. Flash still has uh, somewhat of an advantage, but uh, the lead could very soon slip away from his grasp if he does not do something. Another critical thing to keep in mind is at this point, whoever wins a decisive aerial engagement will almost certainly win the game. Flash has opted to separate his raves from his battlecruisers right now to scout around and hunt for something he could potentially attack. This is a very risky maneuver. Oh, he's found a few damaged raves there and picked them off, uh, being repaired, but he risked getting his air force caught and destroyed in some sort of action. Uh, uh, potentially uh, getting isolated here, and we see Lita bringing down his own raves. Yeah. Both players surely scanning, scanning like fiends here. Flash able to scan and see uh, all those raves there. Now he is still causing some havoc, but I'm not completely sure this risk is worthwhile. Alita uh, has retaliated and picked off one of Flash's own raves. And now Flash needs to be very careful. He's managed to more or less escape. Uh, Fairly well. He's lost a few raves here and there, but uh, no critical damage done to his force. Uh, just a few losses. Uh, he did also kill a few of Leto's raves, so that makes it uh, somewhat worthwhile. Flash getting some nice information, uh, certainly. Uh, still, it's not a shame to see Flash uh, go in there with a stealth force like that and managing to escape unscathed. Lita still not, uh, after that big attack at 12 o'clock, he is content to hold his ground for now, which makes sense. He wants to get as much uh, as he can from these mining bases uh, before he forces a decisive engagement. Makes a lot of sense. Flash, though, is surely almost mined out. Looks like he is only mining from the 6 o'clock at this point, possibly also from the uh, 3 o'clock-ish base. Uh, so now Flash massing up his battle cruisers, he would be wise to keep his units a bit more together. Flash putting out all sorts of turrets to defend that base at the six o'clock. He is very paranoid, and uh, Lita also got so many turrets at the twelve o'clock base. Both players very concerned, of course, about area assault on their uh, really only remaining mining resource. Actually, with four tanks, that is surprisingly vulnerable to a, to assault by a ground army. Uh, so many turrets, so few tanks. Uh, now, Lita coming, he's going to start Yamatoing some of these tanks at the 6 o'clock. This is probably the cue for him to mobilize his ground force to attack. No, Lita just content to kill the tanks without uh, pressing an attack there. Lita also has a lot of Goliaths, which, if he can use the Goliaths in conjunction with his race and battle cruisers against Flash's Air Force, he will win. So, Flash. Uh, though, does have a bit more of a mobility advantage without so much side tied up in Goliath. He can choose where to strike. Uh, as long as he attacks where the Goliaths are not, he stands a good chance of winning the battle. So this is a pretty tense uh, positional game at this point. Hard to tell who may be able to come out ahead at this time. Flash should probably finish mining those minerals at 3 o'clock. No reason for him not to. And Flash uh, sending the battle cruisers E, taking a lot of damage from these turrets. Not sure whether that was worth it. He's actually lost one battle cruiser to a turret, but he has forced his way through and cleared out most of the fences here. He also brought all sorts of tanks up here, uh, so he is going to be able to deal with it. And this is exactly what I mean. Flash has the initiative. Um, 
Those glares take forever to bring up. Lita just unable to engage before he brought up his uh, his ground army here. And those glares are not going to be so great against all these tanks. So Flash is going to be able to finish off this command center and get himself back into the economic lead. But uh, Lita could yet turn this around with a decisive aerial battle. He could somehow defeat Flash here, uh, wipe out Flash's forces. There's a ooh, nice EMP, but it was forced to EMP the rage. That's not going to matter. The detection at this point is cheap. Um, so we see uh, Flash using his Yamato's uh, fa uh, first on uh, Lita's battle cruisers, picking one off. Lita only able to get one Yamato off. This is what I mean. Flash, amazing with his uh, battle cruiser micro. And I would have to give Flash uh, something like a 90% chance of winning the game at this point. He's taken out the 12 o'clock base again. He hasn't lost that much in the assault. Uh, Lita has lost a lot of turrets there and a lot of units. Uh, both players trying to fight as best they can with raves. Lita has amazing rave micro, but he's cut down to just a few raves at the point. At this point, there is another science vessel out. But again, with both sides not ha really having too much energy. And Flash needs to scan. Ooh, Flash making a mistake there. Losing a lot of raves to Lita's volleys there. Uh, but unfortunately, even though Lita managing to score a nice little tactical victory there, uh, he just doesn't have the resources, I fear, to cope with Flash. Flash still has the superior air force. He's got more battle cruisers. Uh, uh, and Lita would be wise to EMP perhaps sooner rather than later. Flash, uh, Yamato ain't picking off two more battle cruisers. Absolutely devastating salvo uh, there from his Yamato cannons. And now Flash feels confident about pressing attack. Probably should use the tanks in conjunction with the battle cruisers. Uh, Flash picking off that last battle cruiser. There are only. Uh, uh, Goliaths left against so many battle cruisers. Eight battle cruisers. It looks like they will still inflict a lot of damage on the battle cruisers. Uh, but Flash seems willing to sacrifice his air force. Not sure whether that is actually completely wise. He is going to drive Lita back here. Uh, probably should pick off the science vessel too. Oh, Flash really wants to mine from the 12 o'clock. That's why Lita has invested his remaining resources into a new battle cruiser fleet. So, uh, and he's still got a substantial ground army. Lita knows that he needs to do something here. He either needs to attack the 6 or the 12 o'clock. Either position should be fine. Lita's still got a reasonable amount of mining income. Uh, and he has inflicted more damage than Flash uh, wanted to take, surely. I don't know why Flash didn't move the tanks out in conjunction with the battle cruisers. Those battle cruisers are very weak at this point. And Lita immediately mobilizing his fresh battle cruisers to deal with Flash. Uh, Flash is going to try to repair. Lita scans. He knows Flash is vulnerable right now to attack. Lita massing up a lot of units. Uh, he is not going to attack directly at the 12 o'clock, it looks like. Uh, perhaps he wants to attack somewhere else in the middle of the map. No, he is going for the 12 o'clock. And now Flash, I think, knows this is coming. Those tanks are getting picked off. This is actually really bad. Uh, Flash still microing his battle cruisers like a thief, picking off three there with just Yamato's. And now these rays coming in, potentially picking off another uh, two battle cruisers. Now Flash just going to be able to pick off one. But Lita has too many lives on the ground. I'm not sure whether Flash really should force an engagement here. He is perhaps going to try. I'm not sure Flash can actually win this battle. There are so many Goliaths on the ground here. Don't know why Flash is pinging away at the tanks. And now it looks like Lita is going to take this battle with these Goliaths. This is what I mean. Flash with no tanks. Lita going to come ahead with superior unit composition despite Flash's better micro overall. Flash bringing up reinforcement battle cruisers, but it doesn't matter. Too many Goliaths there. Flash, why didn't he get six tanks? And now he's going to lose battle cruisers on the retreat. Lita, uh, He's going to be able to finish off this base of Flash. Flash surely has some more resources in reserve, though. Lita's almost tapped. I, oh, Lita with a massive... Okay, just as I was saying, almost tapped. That's probably the remainder of his resources. All those uh, new battle cruisers. Where is Flash's army? Uh, he needs to start... Uh, reproducing his own battlecruiser army. This is Lita's golden opportunity here. He needs to finish this base off, secure the position, and mine more resources, and then he should win. Superior unit composition for the win, I have to say, by Lita. Flash, why is he persisting? Is he, like, out of resources or something? He is going to lose these battlecruisers, and then there are uh, eight more fresh battlecruisers for uh, Lita here, and this is his chance to defeat Flash. The astonishing turn of events here. Uh, Flash, do it. <coughs> 
uh, sorry, still has mining at two almost depleted bases and at bases at six o'clock. Flash desperately needs to uh, hold his position. He should be able to defend for a while with even two or three tanks. He's got a few more tanks there and cowering behind his turrets. He can hold out. He needs to hold out for more units. That's exactly what Flash needs to do. It does not look like there are nearly as many starports lighting up for Flash as there are for Lita. Uh, thus far, Flash has demonstrated he has the vastly superior Yamaha Micro, as long as Flash can uh, buy time and build up uh, another fleet. He should be fine, and then he can go in and finish off, and Flash coming in for more sniping action here with his uh, mobile uh, raves, picking off some SEVs, uh, trying to mine at that 12 o'clock base. Lita surely wants to mine at that base. I don't know why he's taking so long to establish um, another command center there. Perhaps he wants to invest what resources he can into building up one last uh, massive fleet. And while that's engaging, he will put down the command center in mind during that time while Flash is distracted. Flash still with resources, you can see, okay, now Flash's resource advantage is making itself felt. He is still building units from his starports, whereas Lita, now he is tapped. This is it. Uh, Lita needs to get... It done with this particular fleet. Flash uh, with two battle cruisers, uh, not that many, whereas Lita has perhaps a dozen. Flash has too many tanks uh, to these battle cruisers. Lita gun and Yamato, what tanks he can. Flash has a lot of raves, but raves don't work so well against all those Goliaths. Uh, again, I think Lita has the superior unit composition here. Goliath battle cruiser, uh, kind of an odd composition. Flash picking off two battle cruisers at the front there. Um, and now more battle cruisers coming out to Yamato. Flash going to try to do what he can, uh, but again, not being too successful. These tanks probably should retreat behind the lines of the turrets uh, there. That would be wise for Flash. He would also be wise to build a few more tanks to shore up his ground army. The real danger, I feel, is not actually the battle cruisers, but those Goliaths. Those Goliaths can destroy his air force. And that is what Flash needs. Yeah, Lita doing exactly that, attacking while building the base at the 12 o'clock. And once he can establish some more income from there, uh, Lita is going to be fine and able to match Flash. Yeah, lead up persisting in building the Goliath. We have Goliath uh, Battlecruiser versus Wraith Battlecruiser Tank. Uh, I guess more or less at this point is Wraith versus Tank. Um, truly a odd uh, game in TBT. And now, uh, again, pushing out here with the uh, Battlecruiser's Lita still has a lot of battle cruisers. It looks like uh, both players Yamatoing this time. Lita using a lot of Yamatos on just one battle cruiser. That that was a bit of a waste. But perhaps he feels confident enough to win here. Flash down to the one battle cruiser. He also doesn't appear to have enough raves. These battle cruisers are absolutely devastating. They're gonna come in and finish off most of these uh, tanks. It looks like no. Lita backing off. Flash with two vultures here at the 12 o'clock. Gonna do what damage he can. He's uh, uh, scrambling a lot more vultures. Okay, this is gonna finish off all these SEVs. But Flash doesn't appear to have enough units to deal with the main army of Lita. Uh, Flash, does he have another turret line he can fall back to and defend? He needs to, again, hold out, buy time to build more units. Not quite sure why he doesn't have enough units to deal with this. Uh, all the units at the 12 o'clock base are destroyed and Flash is barely producing. He is almost out of resources, it looks like, whereas Lita has been much more economical with his resources in terms of the units composition. Again, Flash, I feel he shouldn't have made that attack uh, earlier. And we see uh, a little Yamato action there from Flash. Shin made the attack earlier. Um, uh, with his uh, battle cruisers against just Goliaths when he had tanks that he could mobilize against Goliaths. He had preserved that force. I feel Flash probably would have won. And now Flash moving more vultures around to do what damage he can. It might be interesting actually for Flash to try to pick off combat stations at this point. Uh, we see Lita uh, moving his forces back. Flash has bought himself some more time to build some more units. It just does not appear that he has the resources to really to build too much more. And as long as Lita can mine from 12 o'clock, he is going to have resources to build more. And this may very well be GG to Lita uh, by virtue of uh, having more resources than Flash, which is quite unusual, I have to say, considering I feel Flash played a much better positional game uh, this game, but uh, his unit composition was lacking at critical moments. Uh, Whereas Lita somehow found in him to build up two big waves of battle cruisers, which turned the tide, I have to say.
uh, tanks do work great against uh, cross bridges here. He's going to try to snipe what Goliaths he can. That is Lita's uh, core force here. These Goliaths. Lita also building SEVs here. At 12 o'clock, he uh, really wants to mine there. And Flash, he knows he's in trouble. Flash needs to be able to try to get something done here. And I'm not actually sure he is going to be able to. But Flash scrambling yet more raves out of his starports. Uh, I'm not sure whether this is completely advisable action. Uh, I think he would be wise to build actually lives and tanks. Clives counting the battle cruisers. He keeps some raves around too to counter battle cruisers, but um, he needs more tanks basically to deal with all these lives. And Lita is content to defend. Flash knows he has to uh, push. I'm not sure whether he should try to push across the bridge here. He would also be wise uh, to get a science uh, vessel to EMP those battle cruisers so they don't you know, model his tanks into a, uh, oblivion there. And now Lita also building a few tanks of his own. Flash using a uh, vulture is quite well to isolate that base at the 12 o'clock with mines. Uh, Flash really trying to push in with uh, just three tanks. Another Yamato coming out. Oh, devastating attack from Lita, picking off most of Flash's tanks. Flash with just a small air force left. I guess this is a last ditch uh, potential attack here. Flash is going to be starved out in this game, it looks like. Uh, and Lita continuing to mine from that base. Flash knows he is in desperate, desperate trouble. He's got a few more mineral patches at the 6 o'clock. Lita has a lot of fresh mineral patches uh, at the 12 o'clock. And I, I really am not quite sure what Flash can do. Oh, Yamato on Flash's last battle cruiser. That is it for Flash's battle cruiser fleet. Whereas Lita still has a lot of Goliaths uh, uh, in position. Flash bringing out SCVs to repair his uh, raids there. And Lita also repairing his own battle cruiser. If the Goliaths can be dealt with, Flash will win the game. Those raids will be able to destroy the battle cruisers without much of an issue. But Flash just, I don't think he has enough to be able to deal with the Goliaths here. He needs uh, something like half a dozen tanks. And even if he can mask that up again at this point, he's masked up <laughs> exactly five tanks. Yeah, uh, not quite half a dozen, but close. Yeah, but those battle cruisers surely have enough energy for another uh, wave of Yamatos. And Flash knows he is racing against the clock here. Uh, and yeah, Yamato's coming out from the battle cruisers. That was a bit of a waste. Two battle cruisers, Yamato, and one tank. And now tanks of Lita's own coming out to defend. This is going to be devastating. Uh, Flash is not going to be able to make too much of a push here. And I fear that Lita is going to win the game at this point. You can see more Yamato's potentially coming out here. Uh, and Flash, I don't know what he can do. Yeah, more Yamato's coming out. Uh, picking off a Wraith and a tank probably would be wise to save the Yamatos just for the tanks. Flash using vultures uh, to some effect here. He's going to lay mines in a uh, wave of reinforcements. And now Flash almost out of resources, not really building too much more. Uh, I think Flash, what he can actually do is use his forces to pick off the ComSat. If he can do that, snipe the science vessel, he'll actually have a window of opportunity to win the game. But I guess Flash perhaps does not quite have the presence of mind to do that. He does have the vultures uh, that he can try to do that with, uh, pick off the commsats. And now Flash continuing to push ahead here. Uh, gonna pick off the science vessel there. Nice little maneuver. Uh, maybe Flash is starting to think about how he can try to overcome this disadvantage here. This is his opportunity. I would pick off the academy uh, with the vultures and then use the vultures to pick off commsats. Uh, at all the bases because Lila doesn't have anything else. All his forces are concentrated at 12 o'clock. This is the, uh, and now Flash trying, coming with the raves. Maybe he's trying to bait some scans, but it's not working out for him. He's losing a lot of raves for very little gain there. Picking off a battle cruiser, but losing so many uh, raves. Get more scans coming from both players. I guess that was probably more Flash's scans. Now Lila with the secondary force there. Uh, Flash has somehow managed to pick off the command center during this time just with the siege tanks in conjunction with the raids. Nice, but Lita is just going to be content to distance mine for now. Uh, again, uh, Lita uh, looks like he will have additional resources uh, over Flash at this point as long as he can distance mine. And now uh, Flash with a few vultures doing what he can. He is going to be mined out now. Uh, 
and Clash is losing a lot of Ray's Raves he cannot afford to lose at that 12 o'clock base. He's got what he needed to get uh, done uh, there, and I feel Flash would be better off using his units somewhere else, and Flash going to sneak by all those Goliaths. This is his opportunity to come in for an attack on these battle cruisers. If only Lita didn't have scam, but now Flash almost out here to use GG coming from Flash in that last incoherent rambling. Lita has won. Great game by Lita, I have to say. He deserves his victory. He's very happy. Uh, great performance. Flash looking exhausted there. I wonder though if Flash... Oh, Lita, another little ceremony like Firebat here, I have to say. Flash not looking pleased with himself. Uh, I don't know. Uh, he, he looks okay now. He's got a little wry smile on his face, potentially biting his lips. Well, that's more accurate. Crowd going wild in the background there. Um, but again, I feel if Flash were 100%, he did everything he was supposed to, except for the unit composition thing. I don't know. We'll see though. I should stop making so many excuses for Flash going on to game six.